if I get a place here, I want to get like a scooter. Uh -huh, so yeah, when I walk, yeah. I don't have to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know hold I mean? up, hold up, hold up. <clears throat> Can I make a disclaimer here? So I need to give you guys a little bit of the background story for this photo shoot. So, so I met him at Bourbon Beach. He had his work shirt on and he was holding the camera. I was like, how much for a photo shoot here? And um, I told him about the YouTube channel, I think, too. And I said, showed him the one photo that I wanted. That was it. And he said, I would love to use you as a model. We could do a trade, right? So I'm thinking, I'm bringing all these clothes. And we, we were on hour two. And I'm like, what else do you want? And, and he's like, no, this is your photo shoot. I said, I only wanted the one picture in the orange shirt like every other photo I can take myself um so then he was like if you look on my Instagram I'm doing half off because it's my birthday month and I was like okay so if it's already half off no you know without a special if I'm modeling for you then it should be half of that right that's what I thought so we're arguing about the money and then he assumed that I wasn't going to pay him. I never said I wasn't going to pay him. The thing was we did the photo shoot that next morning. I got Sharice two massages. So out of that massage money, Sharice is going to give me some money for thanking me to get her this job. He doesn't know this. So the whole time we're talk, well, I can't even say we were talking because I would start to talk and he would talk over me. And then he just kept talking over me, talking over me. And then he starts walking away. And I was like, why are you walking away? I was like, you really don't want to get paid? And he's like, I, I don't know. He yelled something. He was already halfway down the road. So that's why in the voice recording, I said, if you would, wouldn't have walked away, you would have got paid right then and there. So he calls me later and then he wants to ruin my whole night. So that's what these recordings are about. So he got his money. I got photos that are overexposed. The image size is probably about an inch by an inch. So there's no possible way to blow up the photos to get them printed or anything, to do anything. And I was promised a JPEG version and a RAW version and edited. So in a way, I shouldn't have even paid him for pictures that he didn't do any work. Like, I don't know. I'm a photographer. So what set him off was the one picture that he posted or that he sent me, the whole sky was overexposed. So I was like asking him if all of the photos were overexposed like that. And he's like, it's not overexposed. I said, yeah, it is. Like if you're a photographer and everything on the person is clear and fine, actually it wasn't clear either. And the background, which is a nice blue, blue, cloudy nice nice fluffy clouds in the sky is as white as this wall then it's overexposed and i was trying to teach him how to set his camera because he just sets it in outdoor that's the setting he sets his camera on and then he shoots not ugh. you have to change the iso the aperture the f-stop and everything, like as the sun changes, as your light changes, you have to change your camera. And I wasn't telling him like that. I was just like, what's your, what is your f-stop set at? And he couldn't answer me. Like, I think he got frustrated because he had no photography terminology whatsoever, which is fine. Like, if you have an eye for photography, that's good, but that's not all you need. So I was trying to teach him how to use his camera. So he throws me the camera. 
what what photographer do you know that can just take a photo and it's perfect without any editing any photographer anyone who is a trained photographer and knows how to use their camera knows so he proceeds to throw me his camera he's like set it set this camera and take a picture right now and I bet you it'll be overexposed I was like wait you said your photos weren't overexposed <laughs> so anyway so there was a whole bipolar argument for no reason because I was gonna pay him anyway and I did pay him and he can't say anything about that but I'm posting the photos that he took but I'm gonna I don't even like out of he said he took 200 pictures out of 200 pictures that he took I think I liked three and the three that I liked I can't even edit them because they're overexposed anyway I'm rambling what is it oh six minutes that's not too bad so I was gonna say enjoy the video but it's 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 a waste of time but I do want you to see who this guy is his business is called I I work where you vacation or I I shoot where you vacation or I shoot where I live where I live where you vacation there you go that's it so I want you guys to you know if you want to if you want to patronize him and pay him to take your photos go right ahead I'm just telling you my experience of what I had was a nice lovely day and then Jekyll and Hyde he totally switched I think he was mad at some girl. I won't even go into that story. And he took it out on me because I was sitting there, which whatever. Anyways, back to the video. And then uh, at the end, I'll put the, the voice notes so you can actually hear and see what times he was messaging me. It was so... Like, I was trying to get ready to go out, and every minute he was... I, I can't even... I can't. Okay, just watch. He's my shit swing, and white people look at me like... <laughs> I know. What? <laughs> me, I'm... Uh, yeah. I was over there... Yeah, shit to show off. Oh, God, I was over there <laughs> yesterday, and I'm there like... No. I'm stretching, and all the white women are like... My husband's wrong. Right. Oh, Put God. Shit away. I was, sh I was showing off, and I'm just... I'm extra, too. I'm walking. <laughs> I make sure I'm walking. So, we're here with hello. Kevin. Hello, 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 photographer. His... I'll post his Instagram below, but um, I'm modeling for him today on the beach, and we have Hope back there. Hi. She's taking along because of... You saw all the drama at, at Drifters, so, yeah. We're not doing that and today. And we don't like drama. Save it for your mama. Yes. We don't like drama. So. We might get naked. We might be getting naked. I don't know. <laughs> Catch you in the next clip. We're definitely... Okay, guys. So, we may... Let me wipe this off. So we made it to the first location. There's a little pool right here. But look at the backdrop. Like the backdrop is sick. <sighs> Should have brought my mermaid tail, but I didn't. All right, gotta go to work. Okay, first part done. Got a little wet. Did I get my hair tied? I don't think I did. That was the first thing that I did. Oh, so I think it's a little, see I think this dress is a little see-through, but there's Booby K right there. So we're going to go change and do another location. Okay, we're 
on the second second outfit. Um, this is the location. It's almost like the Blue Lagoon. I'm so excited. So excited. So we're gonna. Um, I don't know. I don't like my hair, but we're gonna work with it. Hi people! So we finished, um, I don't even know what to say. I lost my eyelashes. We finished and the pictures are going to be beautiful. Yes. So make sure you guys show your support. Yes. You like and share. $100, right? Well, it's my birthday month. So everybody Oh, gets, this won't be up till. Till the first. You guys know how I edit. <laughs> it's going to be a minute before I edit. Get these edited. But um the photo shoot, but since I like her and she's very creative, she gets half of it. I'll slash half. You know me. Just because she has the creativity and she has nice eyes. And she's half. And she cute. And I got and nice she, suits. And no. she has <laughs> right? I can't I'm getting you know that's payment in itself. Oh yeah, you'll see those booby oh. pictures. <laughs> yeah, there's some I think I can post those. If but, not, if not on here, I'll post them on my Instagram for sure. So Or we could share it to your close friends list yeah on the storyline close friends oh yeah i heard about that i'm not sure how that works but all right, i have to get some water because all that salt water i'm so glad we i'm so glad we went in the water because otherwise i would have been just a hot sweaty mess but yes i got her wet today people yeah <laughs> really wet she was dripping what's that how's that song go insert song here <laughs> Wet ass right. pussy. Right. I can't and think and of the words wet now. Wet ass pussy. That's the only part. Wet right. ass pussy. Wow. Seven days a week. Wet and gushy. Yeah, definitely. And I got probably sand in there too, but. Sand everywhere. Man. But I think it was worth it. And yeah, because this, look at this beautiful work. place. Oh, heaven. Look at that. You're showing off on them. Yes, show off, show off. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'll probably go talk more about this Point, Point Village. Yes, Point Village. Point Village. More when I get back, because I was gonna stay here one time and I never did. But he gave me a lot of information. There's a lot of people selling their condos, so it's kind of like Negril Beach Club, but way on the other end. So. It's the place to be. I think this place is honestly the best place in Negril. I won't say Jamaica, because I haven't seen all parts of Jamaica. <laughs> But I think this is the best place to stay if you're in the grill. Mm -hmm. We can safe, definitely party up here. There's oh, a whole yeah. beach for us, you guys. Yeah, even if it's cold. So cold, Adrian, yeah. Ada, Ashley, Kevin. Hi, Ashley. <laughs> I like Ashley's. All Ashley's are cute. Yeah. You, you probably cute. Ashley's are cute. <laughs> she <laughs> is cute. cute. Follow me, Ashley. <laughs> Ashley's are cute. I don't. Uh, I'll See, I got the cute. hookup for you, Ashley. I got you, Ashley. Yeah, yeah. He likes to get naked too. There's oh, a, I'm and there's very open-minded. I love getting naked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you see how happy I got when you said naked? I was like, naked? We're we getting naked? <laughs> so Hito's right, like right there. So I don't know. We'll have to come up here next time, but that's all for now. Got to get some water. Catch you in the next clip. Bye. Yes. So... Adrian, Ashley, Deja, Ada, whoever else, I don't know. Dude, we could all buy one of these. Look at the trees. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. That's the office right there. Yeah. The, only, the only place over there is Mystic Ridge. And this, he said too that curfew doesn't matter here because they're still always on the beach, in the water, doesn't matter because um, it's private property. So you don't have to wait until COVID's over. And he'll be here for four months. So you're here, you're here till March, February? January. But I live here, but I'm. I hopefully I can 
this is the goal is to stay here okay and decide the island but i live in poultry is currently okay but i'm trying to this is where i want to be so january people he'll be here when you come okay about what i want my money we made a deal i put in how much work took how many pictures i have things to do <laughs> you know what i mean i'm supposed to go to old Chirias. what's there to talk about talk about what you obviously i'm going through things i have a lot going on in my life what's there to talk about and apologize after you're criticizing my work all i want is what we agreed on so i could give you your pictures you know what I mean? There's no drama. There's no maybe we'll talk tomorrow. So it seems like, but well, you're holding my money hostage. You're not gonna pay me. I don't really want to talk. I, I I I don't. I just want what I'm owed to. So you can get your pictures. I took the time out my day yesterday to take how many pictures. I just want what's owed to me. Simple. There's no need for drama. There's no need for anything. I'll send you your pictures. I just want my money. So what's there to talk about? I'm gonna be busy tomorrow, I have things to do. I just wanna move on with my life, give you your pictures and get my money. Like, what's so, what's so difficult about that? No, honestly, it just seems like you're giving excuses to not give me my money or, or, or to find reasons to not give me my money. And that is not right. I took the time out yesterday and took how much pictures and I put in my work. <laughs> For 5,000 Jamaican, which is like how much US? 40 bucks US, or if that, like really? And I can't, for over 100 shots and I can't get my money? There is nothing to talk about. I just want you to get your pictures and I want my money. <laughs> like, that's not drama. If I don't get my money, then that's for just, then there's drama. Cause it's like you're not, you're reneging on our agreement. And that's not right. I want what's owed to me and that's it <laughs> but maybe tomorrow we talk when you're in a better mood i'll be in a better mood when i get my money man please i want what's owed to me please give me my money please please i want my money yo you don't want drama i suggest you just give me my money please you're talking about drama, but you're not giving me my money. And you're saying you don't want drama. Yo, please give me my money. I'm being very nice. I'm being very calm right now. Please give me my money. We had an agreement. I took how many hours out my day. I sweat in the sun. I got wet. I put in my time. Can I please have my money today? I was supposed to get it yesterday. I didn't get it. I have things to do. I have places to go. I cannot meet with you and talk to you. I need my money. So if you don't want no drama, please give me my money, please. I'm being calm. We had an agreement. You don't do these type of things in Jamaica. You don't do this. What you're doing right now, you don't do this. This is going to create you drama. We had an agreement. Can I please have my money, ma'am? See, I'm being very nice. Ma'am, can I please have my money, please? See, I'm being very calm and I'm saying, please. I will need my money today, please. Please give me my money. Okay, I haven't even listened to all your mess all these messages yet, but you took time out of your day, yes. I also took time out of my day. I only wanted the one photo in the orange shirt. That's all I wanted. You said you wanted to use me as a model, and I said fine. Right? Correct? You said you were gonna work out a deal. So you're charging fifty dollars right now so that's not a deal for me to spend two hours walking on rocks and you know doing whatever so and i and i wasn't expecting you to come at me like this like i don't know why you're coming at me like 
I don't even know. I don't even know what to, how to explain it, but you were very professional the other day and now you totally switched. So for you to come at me in an angry sort of way, it's almost like, am I even going to get pictures? So we need to figure out a new price because more than more than half of what we did yesterday wasn't for me so i don't know i'm in the middle of something right now and i'm gonna try to listen to the rest of these voice notes but give me just give me a minute mr kevin if you would have been professional and actually let me speak while i was there Sharice was going to give me the money to give to you, but you didn't want to listen and you walked away. I'm going to, I'm, I'm just going to finish what I have to do here and then I'm going to listen to these messages. I can't even listen to the rest of them. Yo, you're drunk? Yo, what are you telling me right now? Better want me to just come down there and just make up noise for my money? Is that what you want? Look, you're telling me it wasn't worth it for you. Then why, did you, if you didn't like it, you should have stopped. We talked. You said you got money coming. You were fine with it. You said this old guy is going to get your money. Your sister is going to get it. You texted me this morning. There was no problem with you giving me my money. There was no problem at all. Zero problems at all. There is no problems. There is no problems at all. You're going to give me my money. There is no problems. And now all of a sudden there's a problem. Now you're talking about new price. What new price? We had a deal. There's no new price. But it wasn't worth it for you to walk up on rocks. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Yo, this is Jamaica, bro. Pay me my money, man. Please, yo. You're going to get your pictures. I don't want your pictures, yo. I won't even put them on my page. Give me my money so you get the pictures. I ain't gonna rob you, but it's look like you're trying to rob me, and that's not gonna happen. You're not gonna rob me, yo. You're not gonna rob me. It's not gonna happen. I want my money. Yo, I'm telling you, give me my money, girl. Woman, give me my money, eh? And save yourself stress and drama. I'm telling you, everything you're saying in that voice note, I don't wanna hear that. We had a deal. So you can't tell me about no new deal, yo. Give me my money, yo. Yeah, I was professional because I worked. And you didn't keep your end of the bargain yesterday. You didn't have the money. And I understand that. Today you came. You made money with your friend. Your friend made money. Your friend got clients. What did I get? I didn't even get none for my time. And now you're here. Oh, it wasn't worth it for me to walk on the rocks for two hours. And I only wanted one picture. So you should have took the one picture and done. But you weren't complaining when you're in the dress taking all pictures. And, uh, and, 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 and in the black taking all pictures. You weren't complaining. And now that's what you're saying? Woman, please give me my money, bro. Please, bro. I'm telling you, please give me my money. Please, Father God, make this woman. Yo, I'm not the one, yo. Just please give me my money, yo. So you can get your pictures and you can move on with your life and I can move on with my life. And I didn't say I wanted to use you as a model. I said models like you, I like working with because there's a lot that I could do. Remember, you approached me, asked me if I had a card. I didn't come to you and say, hey, you want to be my model? No, I didn't do that. And I said, I like working with you. Usually I charge 10 grand, but because, you know, I like your creativity, I do half of that. You had no problems with it. I have voice notes with you saying you're going to get my money. You know what I mean? I have a voice note with you saying this morning you're going to get my money this morning. There is no problem with you giving me five grand. And all of a sudden there's a problem with you giving me my five grand? Nah, man. That's not right. That's not right. That's not right. You don't do that. We had an agreement. You send me a voice note this morning and say you're coming here. You're going to go to MoneyGram after. And now you want a new price? No, nah, man. Better we get the police involved then. Because now nah, I want my money. Because if I don't get my money, I don't want to put myself in problem. But you're not robbing me for my money. I need my money. We had a deal. I put in my work. So you can't tell me about you want a picture in one shirt. And you know, it's not worth it for you to walk up on rocks for two hours. Are you kidding me? Yo, please give me my money. Please give me my money. I'm telling you, please give me my money so you can get your pictures. I need my money.
Yo, come meet me at the security gate. You can take the money out the fair and in front of security, I will give you all your pictures. I'll put them on the chip. I'll give you all your pictures and I give you all your pictures and you could go about your way. Okay, simple. The security's here. I walk to the gate. There's cameras here, so there's nobody can say anything, and you know nobody's, you know. And take the money out the fair. I give take the money out the fair back, and I'll give you your pictures right in front of the security, and you can go about your way. Simple. I don't feel comfortable sending you half because it seems like you're the type of person that will get the pictures and block me and run away. So to, so everybody's safe and everybody's comfortable. You know I have my security. They know your name. So just come to my security. Take the money out the fare. I'll pay your fare. And you'll go back. And the security is right here. We could do it right here in front of the security. I let them know that you're coming for your pictures. I could send everything right to your phone. And boom. And you just go about your business. But I'm not going to do the half and then half later. No. I, you can get all your pictures right in front of the security. And just give me my money and go about your way. Simple. No, I'm totally willing to do that. I will come up there. And in front of security, I will check the SD card and um, make sure the pictures are on there. And then I'll give you your money. I have no problem with that. No problem at all. Yo, I'm not going to give you my STD card. <laughs> Cause you know, it's, uh, you know, what I mean, and I will send them to you, and then I'll I can send them to your email. Simple. I can send them all to your WhatsApp, and then send them to your email right here, right now. I can't give you my SDD card. You know what I mean? Are you gonna buy a SDD card? I can't give you my SDD card, so I'm just gonna transfer everything to your email. You know, I'm not even gonna put them up anywhere. I'm not gonna promote the pictures. I'm not gonna include them in my portfolio. So it's not even it was for me, it's for you to make you feel good and make you feel confident in yourself and get nice pictures, trust me. That's what I was doing, that's why I took so much. So you can get all your pictures, but yeah, I can't give you my SDD card. So I'll transfer everything to you right here. I have plenty of Wi-Fi. Transfer them to you, direct to your phone, and in your email in our file. Sim You're still upset. You're not even reading what I said. I never said half now, half later. I said we're sitting in front of each other. I will show you the money, give you half. You give me the pictures, and while we're still right in front of each other, give you half. But the way that you said it, that's fine. That's fine. I just have to get ready. The pictures are on there. The SD, I put the SD card right here on my phone right now. So I could transfer them to you when you come. Yeah, Bluetooth, whatever, I could transfer them to you. I have no reason to rob you for pictures. I don't rob people. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm going to rob you for, what, 50 bucks for pictures? Come on. <laughs> so take your pictures. And then give me my money. You get all your pictures. You can go see. They're going to see it come to your phone. Deep, 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 deep. Over 100 pictures. And that's it. To go about your business. And I go about my business. Simple, ma'am. That's the problem. Is I won't have Wi-Fi at yeah. the security gate. So... I have a I have a device that I can stick your SD card in my phone. It'll download all the pictures automatically right in front of security. We can do it all in front of security. I have other things on the Wi-Fi, so I can give you a hotspot on my phone. I'll hotspot your phone. If worse comes to worse, I have too many things on my SDD card. Not only your pictures, I have other people's pictures on the SDD card. So, you know, we can either walk to my Wi-Fi at the bottom of the at the bottom of the hill. I can pick up. You don't gotta come in. You know what I mean? So, you know, I'm not gonna do you nothing. Security knows you're on my property. You know what I mean? So you come till we hit the Wi-Fi, and I'll send it, or I'll give you a hotspot. My, I can't put it in your thing because it's other people's pictures and work on this SD card. Okay, I will. I haven't seen them since we saw, since we saw them yet. And um, I was been been running around today trying to sort out some things with some girls that I know, trying to organize a photo shoot for them. Uh, we're doing a, a shoot in the nighttime. Um, but yeah, you should have all your pictures done by tomorrow evening.
Um, just been busy all day. And right after I met you, I have to go meet up with my friend and try to figure out this party that they want me to do tomorrow too. Um, yeah, there might be a party I might be taking pictures at, so I'll tell you about it when I get things figured out. I'm gonna go talk to the person tomorrow. But yeah, I should wake up and go see if I can see these people on the beach tomorrow. Okay, that sounds good. Um, that's really good that I can get the pictures before I even go home. That's awesome. All right. Yeah, because Sharice is for the massage. Uh, Sharice is leaving Orange Bay. She said around 8.30 she's going to text me. But um, I told her if they don't get the massage, she can always throw the massage table in my room or something because she just doesn't want to take the taxi back because she has to pay extra to bring that massage table here so um we will touch base in the morning i guess yeah because we gotta meet up in the in the morning anyway right so i'm just saying you know what tell her to come anyway with the massage table and just come hang out here and use style, like give you a massage, or give me a massage. And once people see her giving massages, you never know, people might come over. If you build it, they will come, you know what I mean? So tell her to come for a couple hours here and just set up her thing and we we'll just, you know what I mean? Maybe take some pictures of you getting a massage and you know what I mean? But we can figure something out, you know, All right? and have her advertise it on your instagram you get massage on the beach on the ocean you know what i mean but it's a thought you know what i mean okay yeah I'll do that i'll be on the beach um i plan to work on your pictures on the beach tomorrow morning early on the beach um so yeah just message me that's the best thing you know but yeah i'll be down there the ladies messaged her early this morning, so we're coming to do the massage first and then go down to MoneyGram. But we should be there at the gate around 9.30. Wouldn't it make more sense to deal with it? I don't think they're out there. That's too early because I'm not even ready yet. And I have a couple of friends over and we're going to go on the beach probably in an hour. So I don't even know if they're going to be out there this early. I'm going to go out there probably in the next half an hour. But it makes more sense for you to go do what you're going to do and then come meet me. You know? You know what I'm saying? It makes more sense to go deal with that money gram and everything. Because I'm going to be working on your pictures for the next hour and a half and trying to get some done. You know what I mean? It makes more sense. You know what I mean? Then I have to come back again. You know what I mean? I want us to get sorted out first so I can just finish working and give you pictures and you know what I mean? Take care of one thing first. You understand? Oh, the, the ladies for the massage. Okay, I get it now. Okay, so what had happened was um, we finally, this last recording was the before I went down there and all that drama happened. But I ended up taking a taxi. The taxi was actually a police officer. So as soon as we pulled up to the gate, he's like, um, oh, I'm so sorry. And da, 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 da. And, um, I have everything here for her and everything's great. You know, uh, we just need to exchange it. Here comes the pictures. I'll send you the pic. Like he was talking so fast and was so nervous once he found, I didn't know the, the driver was going to announce, oh, I'm a police officer. You know, I didn't know that was going to happen, but, um, so he did send me the, all the pictures and stuff. Like, there's all the pictures scrolling through. I think it was, it wasn't quite 200, but um, these are the pictures that I took myself at, like, with my phone, I think. But yeah, so everything was finished and done, and I hope I never run into him again. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not a man who likes to swear But don't care for the sound of being alone mm -hmm. I I To